Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Aron Incevic and George Marko. This game was played in Sweden in 1920. Nincovic had white pieces and he started with e4. Marko played e5, knight to f3, d6, the Filida defends. d4, knight to d7, bishop to c4, c6, a4, bishop to e7, knight to c3, knight to g to f6, castling, black to move. Castling kingside is the most played move. Marko played h6. If white wants to play bishop to e3, then he usually plays h3 first. Nincovic played b3. Queen to c7, bishop to b2, knight to f8, perhaps intending knight to g6. d takes on e5, d takes on e5. White to move, what would you do? If you have castled and your opponent didn't, then it is usually a good idea to open the e-file. But how to do that in this position? Nincovic played knight takes on e5, sacrificing the knight. Queen takes knight, what is the follow-up? What would you do? If white plays knight to d5, queen may take the bishop on b2, maybe. What do you think? Nincovic played knight to d5, a discovered attack on the queen, and Marco did not capture the bishop, he played queen to d6. What's wrong with queen takes bishop? Queen takes bishop has a tiny downside, and that is knight to c7, checkmate. Back to our game. Queen to d6, white to move, how would you continue now? What is the best square for the knight? Nincovic played bishop to a3, attacking the queen, black to move. C takes on d5 was played. Let's take it back. If queen to e5, then f4, and after queen to b8, knight takes bishop, and white has a winning position. Back to our game. So, Marco chose this variation. In this variation, he is going to get three pieces for his queen. Bishop takes queen. D takes on c4, bishop takes on e7, king takes on e7. Indeed, black has three pieces for the queen, but the black king is exposed. e5, knight on 6 to d7, queen to d6, check. King to d8, f4, a5, intending rook to a6. f5, rook to a6, attacking the queen, queen to d5. King to e7, queen takes on c4. Rook to c6, attacking the queen, queen to d5, h5, intending rook to h6. Queen takes on a5, rook from h to h6, rook from a to e1, b6, queen to d2, king to d8, queen to d5, and now rook takes c2. Ideally, black would love to play bishop to b7 and then take the pawn on g2. Why to move? Perhaps queen takes pawn on f7 was expected. Nincovic played e6, opening the files for his rooks. f takes on e6, f takes on e6, knight takes pawn, rook takes on e6, bishop to b7, attacking the queen. And in some variations threatening, rook takes pawn on g2. Why to move? What would you do? White played a move when black resigned and the move is Rook to f8, Marco resigned in view of this continuation. King to c7, queen to d6, checkmate. Wow, what a crushing attack against the field of defense. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.